Jake the Snake Roberts. Yes, sir. How you doing, man? Oh, doing great. Living life. Good for you. I finally grew up and uh, started doing the right things in life, you know? Great place right now, bro. You're happy for you, Life man. is all, honestly is the best I've ever had. So, Jake, you know kind of the premise of what we're trying to do, right? Like, how we've gotten to where we are has fallen by the wayside. And, you know, obviously, you are such a major part of a large chunk of the history of this business and carry so many memories for so many people and, and across generations that we'd love to be able to find some of that stuff. We have next to nothing at WWE of Jake the Snake. And when you think of Jake, you think of this creepy, mysterious guy with his snake, Damien. You think of that guitar smash, and you think of WrestleMania three his big match with Honky Tonk Man where he had Alice Cooper in his corner. That WrestleMania is kind of lauded as being the big sort of coming out party for WWE. So those items, those are the items that we need to find. I'm kind of getting excited. <laughs> awesome, I look forward to it. I'll, uh, I'll get you all the information, I'll get everything hooked up and we'll get started. All right, man, take care. You too, stay safe. Get off of that. Yep. Why is it still on? I don't know, but Jake, please don't do anything naked until you figure out how to turn it off. Holy Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So, thanks to Ben Brown at WWE Archives, we are on our way to see a buddy of mine named uh, GWC. Steve, hey. what's going down? I brought somebody hey. in. Whoa! <laughs> we got a holy foley situation station going How on. Are you doing, man? Oh, He's an ultra collector. He's got a house full of memorabilia. Floor to ceiling, because that's how we're feeling. Can you use the word obscene in a positive sense? Like... <laughs> so now we're on our way to see if he has one of the long lost original snake bags that you used to carry Damien in. I'll know it if it's here. You and Damien were pretty cool, I guess? No, no, no <laughs> hell no. Couldn't stand them, stared to get the snakes. Always have been, always will be. We know what's in the bag, Jess. He was Jake the Snake because he was slimy, weaselly, you know, like he was a snake. Nice drop kick by Valor, and Jake sort of slithered out. Vince saw that in Cartoon World and was like Jake the Snake. I'm afraid of snakes, and uh, WWE tried to hire somebody to teach me how to deal with the snakes, and I just blew them off. And so the first time that I touched that snake was the first time I had to pick it up in the ring. Oh, it comes out the bola. Look at the size of it. Holy oh, But there's something that happens to me as I walk out that door. Because once that bell ring, I did that transformation into Jake the Snake. No problem. Jake's not afraid of anything, even snakes. Look at Derek for the King Cobra. I can't believe how sadistic Jake is. People have a natural fear of reptiles, in particular, super large reptiles. And fear is probably the most relatable emotion that there is. Baby in the snake, clutching, it's choking Andre the Tramp. Did you ever think that that bag would be worth $4,000 when you were carrying around that snake you were scared to death of? Uh, no. <laughs> it's crazy, man. Oh, AJ, what's going down? Welcome to the motors. Oh, we got the OG himself slithering through the motors. Come on in, brothers. Hey, we let the king in first. Hey, man, welcome to the Motor City, folks. This is incredible. Oh, look at these tights. Yeah, that's I, I can't say that I haven't put those on yet before. I mean, maybe I have, maybe I haven't. You know, we ain't gonna go there. Jake the Snake has always been on my top. You know, maybe it's because the snakes or what it was when I was young, but I was drawn into him. I'll tell you what, folks, why don't we enter the VIP lounge? You wow. know, we can, yeah, it seats are accordingly here for you, folks. I think, uh, I think we go. got a good seat for you right oh, there. Oh, yeah. A decent seat oh, for you. Oh, my God. So November 23rd, 1991, WWE Superstars, which was a show I always loved to watch. When you brought that Cobra out, brother, Randy Savage didn't want nothing to do with the snake. How pumped were you actually to do it? Oh, man, I was, I was, I was just world ready for it. Were you? 
Yeah, especially what happened before the show. You know, before the show, he came into the locker room. He's like, hey, brother, you know we're doing the thing tonight, you know? <laughs> what a voice. And I'm like, what are you talking about? He goes, the snake's going to get to me tonight. <laughs> That's the creepiest looking snake I've ever seen in my life. Are you Love absolutely it. sure that snake has been fixed? Him, the venom <laughs> man is not happening, right? And I'm like, no, he's, he's clean to go, man. He goes, and I'll tell you what, before this snake bites me, you're gonna have to let it bite you. <laughs> now, if you don't want it to bite you, then you and I are gonna have to fight right now. Wow. <laughs> I'm like, dude, you're too much. But needless to say, I put this, got the snake out, pulled my pant leg up, and let it bite me on the leg. Wow. Which was not a good experience. Yeah, I can imagine. So I'm gonna make damn sure he bites this <laughs> back. Why don't you open it? Keep it away from it. The snake is burning. Wait a minute, the snake is burning. Oh, the snake is biting it. The snake is biting it. That was a magical moment. There, there's never been anything come across television like that since. I'll tell you what, that shot, that had the goosebumps on my arm standing up. Oh, no. Well, Randy Savage, the snake in the bag was not the snake at all. This is the snake, and you know that. You know what? I think I might just have something that slithered its way to the Motor City to the GWC, brother. It came to the greatest wrestling collection, I'd say about a dozen years ago, 11 years ago, but I'll tell you what. It's a beautiful, beautiful piece, my brother. It's in good condition. It is, hey, appreciate it, brother. That just might be it, brother. I've cut the one string, because there should be two on each side, but there's not, so I've cut the one. So, because I, I never drew, use the draw strings to pull, because you have to wrap it and tie it. It was a snake would push right out of that, so I always had to tie it. Isn't that wild? I went to this size for a while. Because the other bag was just too much, it was too rough. And it was hurting the snake. Oh, so I went sorry. to this this softer material. Okay. This was definitely one of my snake bags. That is awesome, brother. Good so, deal. When do you think you would have used this bag? Let's say 86, 87. Awesome, brother. So would you be willing to part with this bag so that we can preserve it and show it for future generations? Different items mean different types of things to me. But this bag in particular means a lot to me now. Just knowing that Jake had one of his bad boys in there and threw him over his shoulder, and now it sits with me at the museum is something that I've always cherished. I love preserving nostalgia. I want everybody to enjoy this down, down the line, and it, the GWC Museum isn't open for everybody. You know what? I'd be honored to have a piece from the GWC from the Motor City heading to the WWE headquarters, brother. Oh, man, I God appreciate bless you, you. Brother. Thank you. God man. bless you, Jake. Right. Jake the Snake coming to the GWC is mind-blowing. If you want to talk about wildness that's running through me, it's all types of emotions are going down right now. Smile. Look up, Carter. Look at him and smile. Too bright. <laughs>